What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition on Steam. And this, if I'm correct, is episode 6 of the Borderlands 1 Let's Play with Gathalian. What's going on, Goth? What's up, man? Uh, not a lot. Looking forward to this weekend. Gonna you just, get a. You just uh, asked new me console. what's up and then said not a lot. <laughs> you answered your own question. What? You answered your own question. Oh, well, shit. You said, I what's suck. up? Not a lot. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, well, sorry. I'm so used to just no, talking no, no, to no. myself. It's, it's, it's fucking all right. I'm used to staring <laughs> at my screen talking to myself. But, uh, hey, Goth, what's happening? Not a lot, Goth. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're, we're talking about next generation consoles, weren't we? Yeah, because uh, we are on the actual cusp of it. Yes, we are. This, what's this? Uh... We got 24 hours till the midnight launches of the PS4 start. Yeah, man, I'm I'm unfortunately not going to be at the 24 or or the the midnight shit. I I can't do it. Um, Me kids. <laughs> uh, well, actually, kids come into play with mine. I had my PS4 and Xbox One bought and paid for on Amazon, and then uh, I got hit with some bills, aka child support. <laughs> and yeah, I was like. I have to cancel my pre-orders to not go to jail. <laughs> so, oh, that sucks. I was like, that sucks. Well, actually, not jail, but you know, warrant out for your rest. It's not good. It's not. Yeah, good. it's not. That's not a fun time for yeah, anybody. So I had to. So now I have to brave the lines at eight o'clock in the morning at Target. Oh to, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's not going to be fun. So, do you have one pre-ordered or? Yeah, I have a I have a PS4 pre-ordered. I don't have an Xbox One pre-ordered. Is it a guaranteed pre-order? Yeah, it's paid for. Oh. Uh, yeah, it. there, I, I didn't have one from the uh, the first round, and then Walmart did this shit where they... Uh, oh, yeah, the late August, right? Yeah, exactly, and I'm like, oh, man, I hope I can get one. It was like a week after the shit, and they had like 30 slips left, and I was like, cool, so fucking pre-ordered it. Yeah, and I missed this out on that, too. <laughs> it's like, I dropped the ball this year on these launches, but... Uh, you obviously have a PS4 pre-ordered. What, uh -huh. what are you looking forward to? Launch, man. Well, when I when I went to pre-order games, uh, there was a lot of it was like cross-platform. And when I'm getting mm -hmm. stuff on PlayStation, I'm I'm probably not going to get something I can get on PC already. You know, I'm looking obviously. at the exclusives. Mm -hmm. So so Killzone, Killzone looks good. I'll be right there with you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it looks a lot more fast paced than previous kill zones, and uh, obviously, it's graphically it looks great, dude. Like, yeah, I'm does. really excited about fantastic. this next gen. Uh, so, did you hear that they they've announced Uncharted Four? Oh, really? Yes, yes, they Holy have. Shit. I, oh. I had I had to spring that on you. They I didn't know they, they have announced impressive. Uncharted. Oh, I hate this fucking mission. Oh, this will be fine. You got your masher. No, 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 no. no. I thought this was the mission where we got to blow up the other cars. Oh no, that's that's not for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Go Bloodwing! But Uncharted 4, that's that's awesome. I've actually never played an Uncharted game. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah, because I pretty much skipped PlayStation 3, dude. Like uh Oh, that's right. You you were a PC guy and then you got an Xbox now, right? Well, I was an Xbox guy originally and then I moved to PC. All right. So, so yeah, there was there was that um, you have a PS3 yeah, I, I now, never really though, right? Got to it. Right, Goth? What was that? I said you have a PS3, right? I do now, and I don't like. I really don't like. It's. <laughs> uh, it just feels like things aren't well optimized for it, and people are already saying that the Xbox One is kind of like the PS3 of this generation, and how it's going to have generally worse performance. In uh, cross-platform games. Oh out. shit! They're up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering where the fuck I'm getting shot by. There's like five motherfuckers on that roof. But yeah, no, no, no. I, I understand what you mean by not optimized because one of my one of my biggest things is like I, I don't mind the PS3 as a system in a whole. Like I mean, they have some decent games. I, I love the Uncharted series. It's a fucking fantastic series. But it, it seems like the online portion. Is just lacking really, really badly. And, uh, they they seem to have cleared up a lot of the discrepancies with the uh, goddamn motherfucker. I'm gonna need a hand. Oh shit, uh, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're down I was, too. I was in a poopy situation here. Um, 
I'm just gonna bleed out. Uh, I'm not gonna bleed out. Where are you? I'm. I bled out. Oh, all right. I'm fine with that. It's fine. <laughs> I'm said, fine. Oh, the subscribers said I'm a bad teammate too. Gen. Yeah, we're, we're trying to talk about this. Uh, so yeah, the PSN was pretty bad, but they they seem to clean it up with the PS4. From what I've heard, it seems to be pretty uh pretty decent because you actually have to pay for the online service now with PS Plus. But you get you get quite a bit with PS Plus if I'm not. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, PS Plus is pretty legit, to be honest with you. You get a couple, like, what, free games a month? You get, you know, hey, hey, get off the grenades. <laughs> you, you get you get discounts on, a, like, a lot of games. It, you know, it works the way that a digital distribution service should, where games are cheaper. Yeah. And that, that always bugged me about uh, Xbox Live, is, like, you go to buy a digital game, and it's the same fucking price as if you bought it retail. Yeah, I you know? never really understood that. I'm like... Wait, why am I paying sixty dollars for a digital game when I I'm not getting the box art? I'm not yeah. getting the little pamphlet that I could read while I'm on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, they saved the money to not have to produce it, so there's that too. Yeah, exactly, and it, yeah, it's just a copy. It's just a copy. Like there's there's nothing at all that it takes to make a copy of a game for digital distribution. So yeah, it, it shouldn't me. cost that much. That's why I like Steam. Steam's yeah. got that right. And that's that's one of the beauties of, of PC gaming, and a lot of people will argue it, but you know, at the end of the day, you're you're saving a lot of money on software on PC. Exactly. But uh yeah, let's get back on the subject of next generation. So we got Uncharted coming out, we got Killzone as a launch game. You're gonna be you're gonna be playing some of that, right? Now uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing uh, a lot of videos on that. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to the multiplayer because uh, the way they make it sound is uh, it's it's more like sideways progression rather than you know dudes who sit there and pour time into it like like COD and mm -hmm. they have just like fucking everything and you just feel outgunned all the time. Yeah, you know if you don't time sync. All right. So yeah, so you're <laughs> time you, 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 yeah time sync. You pretty much start out with with the gear you need and it's more based on skill and you know acclimation to the game which i like that's kind of like kind of reminds me of like a team fortress 2 style like you don't have to have all the big guns and shit that you can unlock you could do fine with just the stock gear that you have in the game yeah but, i mean what? There's, there's doors locked what the fuck it's <laughs> we got to unlock the master switches don't we well the this door is supposed to unlock after we talk to lucky but apparently it wants us to run back around that door has never unlocked for me <laughs> <laughs> it always has. Randy, Randy. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, speaking of that, speaking of that, let's uh talk about that next gen Borderlands Two re-release. How? Oh, what the fuck is this? What is going on? Um, I'm gonna throw grenades on it. <laughs> That's why I don't know what you are, but <laughs> <laughs> that was that was hey, my salute. Yeah, oh, I saw his limbs. leg fall. Yeah, off. The, the legs went over here. Look. It's a, it's a man it's a man plant. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Somebody's... now we don't have a car. I'm sorry. Oh wait, there's, there's a, a thing car over thing here. over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, see, I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> so yeah, next next gen BL2. Borderlands 2. So we know that PS4 is capable of a small amount of physics. Yeah, it is. Uh, Nvidia actually licensed the physics software for the AMD hardware. So that right there is another reason why the PS4 has has a little bit. I feel I feel in my opinion, coming out of the gate, the PS4 has a little bit better better headway. Than it's the it's Xbox the better right hardware now. in the situation. Um, a lot of that is going to come. Well, it's got a better GPU, uh, a faster GPU in it, and to compensate for that, uh, Microsoft actually uh, what was it? They overclocked the GPU. <laughs> like they, they went back and they're like, no, 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 no. We're upping the clock rates that's, of our GPU. That's not going to be good, though. No, what it's you... not always good. I don't know if you've overclocked your Titan at all, but... What are you I doing? I mean, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't always scale the way that you'd want it to. Like, some games you'll get better performance, but then other games it might actually cause issues, like performance issues, overclocking the GPU. Exactly. And not only that, but heat, heat issues is a big thing, and... You know, Microsoft is no no stranger to heat issues with launch consoles right now. Yeah, not at all. Um, and and you apparently remember the, the Red Rig of Death debacle? <laughs> no. Uh, they Nobody probably put no the red, red lights on that sumbitch. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, 
I mean, if they're overclocking shit like that out of the box, it, it's a very big possibility that we might see uh, some some type of, you know, catastrophic failures on the new Xboxes. Yeah, and uh, evidently the, the PlayStation 4 runs cool. Like, legitimately cool to the touch. Cool. Which is which is awesome. And it also has that GDDR5 in it that a lot of yeah, people... Yeah, the, the DDR5 RAM, right? Yeah, that's that's legit. That's what's on high-end PC GPUs. Yeah, I don't even have DDR... Oh, shit! Well, no, your your Titan has GDDR5 on it. No, 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 yeah, I'm talking about, but, like, you talk about fucking... The, system the, memory. Yeah, yeah system that, memory, we're not even... That, we're not there yet. <laughs> it doesn't even exist yet for exactly, PCs. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, like... They're... they're putting some pretty uh pretty impressive things out there from sony which is i mean it looks like they're building their system for the long haul which at, at the moment i mean if you think about it even though they're becoming comparable to uh you know pcs they still are up to par with a high-end pc i can't use <laughs> I, I keep trying to get in the car and it tells me i'm full <laughs> you're full. What? You're full. Sorry, of cars. you're you're all full of being seated. <laughs> I have it marked. I have it marked. Hit him with the. Ah, ah. Right. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, Sony definitely longevity wise is looking better, and even out the gate, like pretty much all of the launch games are touted to uh, to run at uh, 60 frames per second and at native 1080p. That's and then you, pretty you look, yeah, that's nice. That's that's what it should be for next gen. I, and then like Xbox One, uh, COD doesn't run. Yeah, at, it's seven twenty, right? Yeah, it's running at seven twenty. But get this, uh, you know their launch title, the big one, um, Dead Rising Three. That's yes. like yes, yeah. Oh oh shit, yeah. This door's locked. Um, well, uh, Dead Rising Three uh, is evidently it averages twenty frames per second. What? Yep. 20 frames per second. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Why? That's next gen. No, 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 that's, no, listen, listen, listen. There is no reason why anything at this point in, in technology should be running under 30 frames. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe... I mean, what are you talking about? Maybe a shitty computer? Yeah. You're not talking about top of the line. And you're talking about a console that this is the most expensive console on the market. PS4 is what three ninety nine, and Xbox is what five hundred. Yeah, it's four ninety nine, and the reason it's four ninety nine is because it, they are forcing the Kinect sensor on you. Yes, and, that is um, terrible. PS4 was originally going to be four ninety nine, but then they saw the Xbox price and they took the PlayStation Eye out. How did you but, get over here? Oh, check! I just, I just like, <laughs> I tried to run through here, and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's a secret. Like you can just run through this garage. What? 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 Like, I knew you could go into that is some of these. tricky. But I didn't know this one was, like, a major shortcut. I just ran all the way around here, and you just come bumbling through. I'm like... And then it, and then Steam had to tell me that you were playing Borderlands as you were going through that. I'm like, oh, I didn't know Gothalian was playing Borderlands. <laughs> what are we What are we doing here? I thought we were playing Dead Rising. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Dead Rising, 20 frames per second. Ridiculous. I don't, I don't even... It doesn't make sense. It no, doesn't, it doesn't. Why would they do that? Like, you think if you're coming out with something... Oh, can I afford this? No, I can't. Uh, you think you're coming out with, like, you know... This is... that That's supposed to be your, your fucking bread and butter, you know? Dead Rising. That's that's the, that's supposed to be Xbox's killer app. It looks cool, but, you know, that's still screens. You, I've only, also, need, you only need one frame to get that pretty still screen. That's true. I also heard some things from, uh... What do you call that? From some reviews, they said that uh, Dead Rising is a game that looks more fun to play than it actually is. Ooh, that's brutal. That is that is harsh. I mean, I, I really did want to. Hey, you just. Yeah, we're 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 teaming up on the other vehicles. <laughs> Why you got a mount made? <laughs> um, Get the I, fuck off. Yeah, thank you. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Get out of here. Ah, oh, my vehicle. I need. <laughs> you can. Oh, you bastard. Anyways, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Enough fucking around. Enough fucking around. But yeah, like, I mean, the, the game looked cool. Wait, we're supposed to kill Rack? 
No, it's as a wrong mission highlighted, Wait. and only host can change the mission. Tell me what I... mission we're supposed to do: break and wind. Uh, no, no, we're we're killing the the vehicles. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, just, don't even worry about it. I'll take us to where missions are. The headland. Yeah, yeah, we're we're killing cars, and then we're gonna do uh, ghosts of the vault. And then we're going to do other ones out here. Because there's tons of missions for Are we doing Road Warriors? Yes. There we go. Why Why do I host this? I don't know. Wait, what's this over here? Is this... Oh, that's a dude! <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, that's I, a dude. He's just parked doing nothing. I was like, oh, what's, what's he doing? I just wanted to see what... You know you could lock on, right? Yeah, I'm locked on. I'm just making sure I, I had to make a video on it. You could do that in Borderlands too, as well. Yeah, it's but it's not like evident how to do it in Borderlands. No, it, it's actually really like you gotta fucking double click the, the zoom button and shit. <laughs> it's bad. Hey, Mad Mel, just get out of here, AI. <laughs> where where were we? <laughs> <laughs> Dead um, Rising 3 still? We were oh, talking no. about Dead Rising 3 looking like a cool game, but is going to suck ass. Because yeah, it, it does, I like open world zombie games. I mean, that that looks fun. How could they ruin that? You know what? Oh, that was nice. Speaking of open world zombie games, have you seen a game called Dying Light that's coming out? Um, Isn't it made by the same people who made Dead Island? Yes, yes it but is. But it, it looks like Dead Island was just the beta for this game. Yes, yes, yes. The, yeah. Tell me this game does not look like it's going to be the shit. It looks cool because it's got all those RPG first-person shooter mechanics I like. You know, so could be oh. a lot of fun. I hope it's got good co-op. Yeah, Whoa. it's it's gonna be four player co op. That's for sure. Oh, awesome! Well, then I'm I'm fucking in. It's just oh, like great. you know, and it has the the Borderlands loot system where it's uh you know white, green, blue. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so it, cool. it'll be familiar. It'll be familiar. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not Dead, really Dead Borderlands. Island that's more okay, like Diablo. But it wasn't amazing. Well, well, yeah, dude. I like Dead Island. Everybody hates Dead Island. I I don't hate it. I think Dead Island was was a game that had a flawed mechanic that made the game kind of crappy. What was, what mechanic would that be? Uh, where you had to pay money to fix weapons. Oh yeah, that was pretty dumb. Yeah, because like once you once you get a weapon that you really 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 like, oh shit, it's Mad Mel. Oh, that's right, you. We got, we Is got that one you? More these. Yeah, that's me. Hey, what's going on? Come on? Oh shit! Oh no! Ah, I'm getting out of here. I was doing better with my combat rifle. Get, I'm getting the fuck out of this thing. I would. It's this. This is about to blow. <laughs> we got one over here. I got Bloodwing, motherfucker. Go, Shockwing, go. When's when is that supposed to come out, Dying Light? Uh, early next year, I think. Like, you know, when everything else is supposed to be coming out, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of games coming out early next year. Um, Sony's saying that they're not going to have, like, a drought of software after after launch. What do you mean? So, I mean like, they're going to have, like, plenty of, plenty of fucking Xboxes for everybody? No, no, not hardware. Oh, no, no, wait, a... wait, not hardware. You said software. Yeah, software, software. I don't listen. <laughs> because, because a lot of the time, a system will come out and be brand new, and there just won't be shit to buy for it. Like, Wii U is... Oh, shit, you just took my kill. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to... I was trying to clear support out for you. <laughs> you see a guy with a smidge of health right in front of me as I'm bleeding out. <laughs> Hold on, I'll no, help you. I, I threw a bunch of grenades. It was fine. <laughs> it's fine. Speaking of the Wii U, Woo. what do you think's going to happen with Nintendo? Because that thing's not doing uh, too well. Do we, do we really have to go there? I'm a Nintendo fanboy, all right? <laughs> I, no, no, no. I love Nintendo, dude. And... I know, I know, but it's just so sad what Nintendo's become. Yeah, I feel like their marketing for the Wii U was probably some of the worst marketing I've seen. Because there's people that have no fucking idea what it is. 
Like, parents actually thought it was an attachment to the Wii. Yeah, like, like it was... The they're like, let's just call it the same thing we just called this one. No! Yeah, you just let me die! You're gonna take the smidgen of health? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, wow. Now I see why that was annoying. Because you're all the way the fuck over there. Yeah, yeah. We're I gonna just, do, go to Ghosts of the Vault while we're over here. I'll just get my my extra skill point here. What is? People are telling me to get Riotous Remedy to heal health after killing, but... Oh, I should probably have that health turret, too, but oh well. Wow, this... If I buy this one skill point, Bloodwing's cooldown is reduced by three seconds. That is a hefty... That's a hefty reduction. Yeah, you can pretty much continuously throw Bloodwing, eventually. Really? Yeah, like, with very little cooldown. Nice, nice, and I mean, what level are you right now? Uh, 19. Level 19, so... We're pretty much, I mean, you you and Baru ended at, what, level 35-ish, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, we're uh, we're making some pretty good headway here. Some good headway. Nice, because that'll be just in time for, you know, we're going to bring this full circle. Just in time to bring, uh, you know, that... that. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking poke him. I was going to kill that guy. <laughs> From my point of view, that was perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> just I just the came hill. over and I was like... Boop. <laughs> um. Oh, we were talking about the Wii U, though. Do you yeah. have a Wii U? I, I did have a Wii U. I yeah. Uh, I got yeah, rid of my Wii U. I had a Wii U as well, and I feel like as soon as that new Zelda is announced, I'll uh, have one again. See, see, this is this is what happened. Was I have I had a Wii U, and I wanted to play Lego City Undercover. I love the Lego games. I know you do too. Fucking Lego games are the shiznit. They're fun. They're just fun. Yeah, exactly. So I, I bought it for Lego City Undercover. Massively enjoyed the game. Beat it. Uh, had problems recording my Let's Play on it because of the, you know, the HD copyright bullshit and yeah. my capture card. And it kept corrupting my files. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I mean, I really did enjoy the system. It's just there was nothing out there. So I was talking with my girlfriend. I was like, you know, if we just sold this now... And buy it. It'll be it'll be cheaper next year anyway. And we're you know we'll get our money back for it. Uh, you know I, I think I got like I think what did it, what did it was like two hundred when it first came out something like that. Yeah. And I I think I got like one eighty for it when I traded it in, which means I, I only lost like fifty bucks at the most. And you know I, I just buy another I will buy another uh, Wii U. When they when they release these uh, new Zeldas, and I think the only thing that could save Nintendo right now is if they came out at E3 this year and was like, we have Metroid, Mega Man, fucking Mario, you know, like all these. Like, yeah, the Mario game coming out, 3D World is cool, but I don't think it's the the successor to Mario Galaxy. This is not the Mario you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because Mario Galaxy was dope. Like, uh, I never played it. It was good. I mean, it wasn't like like nothing has truly been Mario sixty four again. Uh, well, I, you know, everybody does that comparison, and my favorite Mario is uh, Mario three, and uh, I also like the one on uh, Super Nintendo Mario World. Just yeah, Super Mario Mario. World is great. I like I, that you call him Mario. Well, that's. I have a buddy named Mario, and that's what his name is. People call him Mario, and he's like, "My name's Mario, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think I think the only thing that could save Nintendo right now is if they brought out their, uh, you know, their their AAA lineup. They're like, "Hey, here's the Zelda you're looking for. We got a first person shooter, Metroid." Because the Wii U can can pull some pretty powerful. Uh... What is Wait, that? Well, well, here, what oh, is it's, that? It's, it's a guardian. Kill it. The thing about Nintendo is they find a way to get their games to run at 60 frames on inferior hardware, and it they look stunning, too. Like, Nintendo, if they go third-party, in my opinion, would be one of the best things for the game in, gaming industry, because it would make all the other third-party developers yeah, but take notice and be like, well, shit. I would hate that, though, because I... I like Nintendo as a developer. I mean, as a you know, as as a console giant, you know, like that's I, I like Nintendo consoles. They usually because Nintendo usually has that seal of approval. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and and the, you know when you're buying a game on well not lately but you know when you're buying a Nintendo game that it's gonna 
at yeah. least meet a minimum standard of quality that I'm used to. Well, well most of the things that are great on... Uh, oh, you have an explosive artifact over here for your bird. Yeah? Yeah, it's on the ground. Why is uh, it not for you? Because it's for Hunter, specifically. Oh. Um, most of the really good games on Nintendo consoles are first party. Mm. You know? You don't see a lot of really great third party games. Is that a legendary? No, that's just the color that the artifacts are. Is it? No, it's not considered a legendary. You know? I guess it technically is a legendary because of its color. But legendary, legendary. I must be level twenty. <laughs> oh, we'll be there like right now. Um, they're coming out again. Oh shit! Did they he... respawn? No, this really guy came out of the wall. Guys. He went in the wall earlier. I forgot to tell you about that. I just uh -oh. I thought it was what they do, but. What it do, son? No. What it do? <laughs> oh, cool! I got an explosive artifact too, off of the mission. Really? Yeah. Uh oh, there's a class mod for it. I don't have one of these yet. Ranger class mod. You do have one. You have a survivor comet. It got automatically equipped oh, when, we, when we did a mission. Yeah. Well, I got two explosive artifacts. Nice. Nice. You could sell one. They're worth a lot of money. Well, artifacts. no, but if I use it, won't it up my level, both of them? Nah, nah, they have a set level on them. Oh, uh, poopy. I... Do you think they'll go with a, uh, um, like a realistic look for the next Zelda? Uh, I don't think they'll take it that far. No? But I, I do think that we might see a little bit more realism in it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's hard to explain that. I don't think they'll go the route of Wind Waker again anytime soon. Like that cartoony. I, I like it though. I like that look. I did too, but I feel I feel like a lot of people are clamoring for like a really good HD Zelda. But that... I I liked Wind Waker. Wind Waker is probably one of the best action RPGs ever made. Uh, now see, I love the way the Wind Waker looks, but forgive me for saying this, but I've never played the Wind Waker. And, uh, oh, you need to. It's I know, I know, everybody fucking, says that. You know what, I'm just going to send you... I, what... You're going to kill me? You're going to kill me? What? I don't like 3D Zeldas. Oh, I can I can feel that. Are you going to get... I'm a um, 2D Zelda guy. <laughs> are you going to get Link? Uh, yes, or yes, I am. Yes, I am. A Linked yeah. Worlds or whatever. Yeah. Why is your my... arm vibrating? <laughs> 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 you're just like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Too much coke. <laughs> it's got a fucking ah, shit. yeah. The, it looks really good. Link Between Worlds. That's that's what I've been what I've been waiting for is just like imagine you you know the the fucking I guess what was it the seasons one that kind of looks like Wind Waker but is overhead like a Link from the Past. It has like the anime looking Link in it and everything. Oh yeah, that's uh, um that's not seasons. That's uh. What Two is swords it, uh? or something? Four swords? Maybe, yeah, sure. Some shit like that. Uh, thank you for leaving me in the car. I'm right here. I'm right here with you. No, you left me. We're a team. We're not a team. You let me die. Well, We're I let team. you die too. And I poked a guy for you. <laughs> oh, I got three. Why am I regenerating. Why am I regenerating ammo? Uh. Are you know. regenerating ammo for me? No, I don't have that yet. Well, I'm regenerating ammo. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a... I don't know. I don't have that answer for you. Your answer is in another castle. It Anyways, was, yeah, we, we, we went way I'm regenerating from... all my ammo. Where? Survivor? The Survivor? Re I don't think Survivor regen. No, ammo. that's Team Health regeneration. Oh wait, never mind. I have a support gunner co com. I do regen ammo. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I was a support gunner. So yeah, you were talking about we went way off base here from Next Generation, but yeah, I mean, right. well, we we Nintendo is a Next Generation system. Yeah, it's not last too... gen specs. Ooh, that was pretty cool. It wasn't too far off. I mean, it's it's barely more powerful than an Xbox 360, the Wii U. Technically, yeah, but Nintendo has always made a habit of not having the best hardware. And still... I think it's about time for that habit to end, personally. Yet, 
Honestly, you know what Nintendo needs to do? Is they need to come out with their own Steam style service so I could play Nintendo games on my PC. Old Nintendo games. Yeah, or you could just get an emulator. I, I want to give my money to Nintendo, alright? Yeah, there is that. I, I, I like Nintendo, I, I think. No, I love Nintendo. I spent a lot of time on the, the SNES. I think that would that would go over really well, though. Like, it's Nintendo-style Steam. I made a video on that a while ago. People were like, oh my god, such a good idea! And Nintendo's like, nah, we don't want to make no money. We don't need no money. Nah, we don't need no money. We're going to park in here and hide. I don't want to hide in there. It's dark. Oh, we can go in here. Hey, you can go in all these things. It's silly. And then we're going to go over here and blow shit up and open chests. Oh, do we got to get out? Yeah, we got to get out. I'll wait for you. Mordecai decided to get out into the corner. <laughs> oh, look. Bad guys! Bad guys! I just blew up a big thing. I should be alright. Oh, nice! Are you running away? Nah. You ran you away. You got a psycho right behind you. Do I? Yeah. Still good. I'm dying. Oh, do you need me to get you? I can't, I can't. This is a weird oh, angle shit. to get up. Well, Woo! I'm up. Are you up? Alright, no, I'm not up. I'm gonna need a hand. Alright, nope. let me... Gonna bleed out. Oh, you were that close? Yeah, it's fine. We, we needed some. Oh man, I spawned there. all the way down here. That is bullshit. Did you really? Yeah, yeah like I know you've been at using the bottom of that elevator shaft. You want a transfusion? It's blue over here. Nah. I know you were using them. Nah, I switched to a longbow, but I don't even. I like Betty's the best. Oh, look at all these awesome guns here. <laughs> I, I would love to look at them. <laughs> There's a terrible matador here. <laughs> I want this liquid wraith. Get it? What is it? Uh, that's a sniper, right? Yeah. 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 I don't want to get rid of anything. Have you? Were you always a pack rat in Borderlands One? Yeah, I'm a pack rat in every game. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hate getting rid of weapons. That's why I want inventory space. I want inventory space, goddammit. Yeah, that would be helpful. Oh, so uh, which way am I supposed to be going here? Well, I got I got the car now. We got to make sure we blow up the the oil thing over here. I blew that up to kill bandits back there. Oh, did you? Okay, cool. Yeah, I blew that up first thing in the morning. <laughs> that was our that was our mission. <laughs> I oh, stole the car. You stole the car. Perfect. Stay classy, Mac. I'll come back. I'll come back. Look, <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, okay. Um, head over this way, like yeah, towards it, up there. I, it, it looked like the progression of the the mission was taking us over this way. Yeah. Man, this is a, this is a lot to do in this area. <laughs> There's something on the ground here. It's a trophy. Yeah, yeah, that's part of our, our mission that we're revolver on right now. Revolver body. Yeah, we gotta collect all these gun parts. And then I get a revolver? I think, yeah, I think we get a revolver from this. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we're out here doing scavenger revolver, right? Yeah. We're, we I got need... the last part. Did you? Yeah. Sweet. So where do we turn this bitch in? Oh, back at Lucky. Oh, how lucky of us. Yeah, we'll we'll turn in all the quests all together. I think I think that should be the end of this this episode. <laughs> we've, oh, we've, we did we, a lot. We've we'll done pick, enough here. We'll pick up the rest of the doll headlands in episode seven. Yeah, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn this stuff in and uh see if we can't level up a little bit. Yeah. I think we got like three more side quests to finish up in Doll Headlands. Well, why do we have to finish up these side quests? Because it's experience! But, uh, fucking, what level is Mad Mel at? I don't know. Whatever, fuck it. We'll go to Mad Mel. Straight off. We'll go Mad Mel next episode.
Yeah. And then we'll get our ass beat and come back and do side missions. <laughs> nah, I got a rocket launcher. I have a plan. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Remember that door's locked. Can't lock Inex the door! Inexplicably locked, but I'll take the secret side door and go turn <laughs> this shit in. Yeah, I know. It's like, Borderlands is like, we're going to lock this door and teach you something new five years later. <laughs> yep. I never knew you could go through that one and then off into the side area here. I tried to lethal strike this door. Oh, oh, we were supposed to turn it into the quest area. Not, not lucky, but we still allowed to turn <sighs> in that quest anyways. <laughs> I keep stretching out this episode. Yeah, I know. Goth is like, you guys. He's like, Goth is like, you want to record tonight? I was like, yeah. He's like, after eight. I'm like, all right. He's like, forty five minute episodes. I'm like, all right. Oh, cool. Bloody revolver. That's what I got at least. Whoa, I gotta check my shit. Oh, I got another masher! Oh, nice. I got an upgraded masher! You <laughs> some bitch. Dude, this masher is twice the damage. 68 times 7. That's disgusting. I hate you a little oh bit. Oh my god, I, I'm, I'm a star. Oh, oh my god, listen to this. Ready, ready? Uh, look at that fiery. Anyways, guys, that'll about wrap it up. <laughs> You're mad, motherfucker! I am. I don't get shit. I got this sledge shotgun. Hey, you want a sledge shotgun? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're so unnaturally strong in this game. I know. <laughs> Except Roland. Roland can't hit it like, like this. Ready? Oh, you can't hit it while it's moving like that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. It, all, it makes so much sense. This masher, baby. How do you like me now? <laughs> he's like, he's like, I got a bloody justice. He's like, hey, I got another masher. No big deal. Nah, no big deal. Just a masher. No big deal. It's a, a little monster. Mysterious. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me and Guthalian motherfucking motivation to make more motherfucking videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. That's a lot of motherfuckers, guy. It's a lot. Of, yeah, I think I think they said that there was a severe deficiency of motherfuckers in the last episode. So. Well, there you go, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, and we're going to see you guys later. Later.